Hello dear students and welcome to the video. In this video, I will cover the whole ideas in week 14 for the pre-calculus course. We will start by talking about the vertical and horizontal asymptotes for different rational functions. As you already learned in Algebra 2, the vertical asymptote can be used uh, can be found after we simplify the rational function that we have, then we take the zeros of the denominator. Also, we have different cases to find the horizontal asymptote when we have a rational function. In this lesson, we will connect between the definition of the limit and how to find the different asymptotes, and which is the horizontal or the vertical asymptote by using a different limit to notation. For example, if we want to find the horizontal asymptote, we take the limit as x goes to infinity to that rational function. The answer of this limit is the value of the horizontal asymptote. After that, we will talk about the squeeze theorem for infinity. We already talked about the squeeze theorem when we have uh, different two functions and we want to find the limit of a specific value of the function using the upper bound and the lower bound. We find the limit for the upper bound and limit for the upper bound at a certain point. If the two limits goes to the same point, so the limit for the middle function exists and equal to that point. But in this lesson, we will use the same technique to find the limit of different functions as x goes to infinity. After that, we will go to the average rate of change and the slope. The average rate of change represents a measurement that can provide insight into a variety of publication, from finance and accounting to engineering applications. We can calculate the average rate of change using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have to understand how can we apply the average rate of change for different mathematical uses. In this lesson, we will connect between the average rate of change and the slope of the line. Thank you for listening and I can't wait to see you in the class.